And today I'm trying a brand I've never tried before. This is a K-beauty brand called VT. A lot of it is a collab with BTS, which yeah, I've looked into them. So many of you were like, oh my god, you need to like listen to them right now. So I did and I enjoy. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to see me trying out a new brand, I also tried out like some of these cute little, I don't even know what these are, like these characters. Um, to create this entire look I'm wearing right now on my face, keep watching, you know, carry on. Okay, so we are starting with the skin. I've got clean skin right now. I think there's like a primer in here. There's like this droppy one. So some of it is not BTS. It's just oh wait, no, this is BTS. Never mind. Okay, don't worry. So this is a glorious Gloria primer in a dropper form, which looks very interesting. All right, let's give it a go. I have no idea what to expect. Like I'm expecting it to be kind of like an oil product because it's in this dropper. Okay, that's not really what I was expecting. It looks like a creamy product. Okay, yeah, it just looks like a moisturizer basically. Oh, it's got like a pink reflect to it. Can you see that on camera? Like when you rub your fingers together, it goes real pink. So oh, it smells good. It's very lightweight. It's not like a silicone or anything. It just feels like super, super moisturizing. Actually a little bit goes a really long way as well. I thought I'd have to get some more, but that's perfect. It feels real good. Obviously I can't actually read anything on the packaging other than the labels. So I don't know too much about the products. They'll all be listed down below regardless. So you guys can check them out if you are interested. I love Korean beauty products. They're some of my favorites. So for foundations, I have a couple of different options. We've got the Glorious Gloria Powder Dation. Powder date power dation power dation. I can't read and then I also have these which by BT21 VT as well um, So same brand I guess different range. This is BT2. I don't actually know what this is So I'm just gonna make up little names for everything because I just don't know what they are <laughs> Call me ignorant, but honestly like <laughs> it's more fun this way and then yeah This is the BTS which by the way um, Someone sent me a video after they watched my haul and they were like, oh, because you don't really know much about BTS. Like, here's a quick rundown video. It was like a half hour long and I watched it on like the weekend and I got real invested in it. So, <laughs> yeah. Am I like a new BTS fan? I mean, maybe. So this is the foundation. Okay, this looks like a pretty good color. I've got some fake tan on right now. Um, this is in shade four. What shade is this one? Because I definitely, oh yeah, this is shade five. I'll just have a quick look at it. That also looks real good. Maybe, is that pinkish? I don't know. We'll try them. And then yeah, I also have stick foundation. So this is little Koala Boy. I don't know his real name, but he is little sleeping Koala Boy. The packaging is so cute. This is how it looks. And oh, okay, there's a brush on one side and the product on the the other side. So what should I use today? I might use the liquid foundation. There's also another one of the stick foundations. I don't know what the difference is. I guess different shades. I think this is shade 21 and this is shade 23. So this one has Angry Bunny. Oh yeah, this one's like a little bit lighter. So yeah, I'm gonna use the BTS because I think the color is gonna be best. I'm gonna try shade five and I've just got a little damp flawless finish sponge face so beauty to blend it in with. I don't really know how much to take but it's just some like a little dropper which is quite cute. Looking at it already I reckon it's gonna be a little bit too pink but whoa okay this is like way more coverage than I expected from a Korean brand. Already I can tell it's like a little bit too orange for me like not the perfect color but let's just like blend it out and see if we can like even it out afterwards. Oh it oxidizes like immediately. So it looks lighter in the actual like dropper and then goes darker straight away. Kind of like the Fenty. The coverage is real good and it's very easy to blend. The color is just terrifying. Can you guys see the color right? Like I feel like on camera it doesn't look so bad but in real life it's like definitely not good. Oh my god, on camera it actually looks fine. I swear that always happens like whenever I'm like completely just no, it's terrible. The color's so shit. Everyone in the comments is like, Shannon, that matches you so well. And I'm like, I promise you, I swear on my entire freaking life. Like, no. My camera is stitching me up. Like, it's definitely very pinky orangey. I'm just going to try a little bit of shade five on top. Oh, wait, no, sh shade four, right? So this is shade five. So yeah, I'm going with shade four. I feel like it's a little bit more neutral. Yes, yeah, see? You can see the difference. And especially because i got fake tan on. Oh! That popped everywhere so I'm just gonna like just use a little bit of this just not like I need extra coverage just to help with the color that's so much better okay I feel like you'd be able to see that now I don't really know what to compare the formula to but it's so easy to blend like so smooth reminds me a little bit of like the Tarte foundation in this kind of packaging as well the rainforest of the sea I think it's called I really like that foundation it kind of reminds me of that but maybe a bit more coverage like two layers of that you can't see a single imperfection on my entire face like 
it's full coverage usually korean brands are quite like natural this is not but i dig it it looks nice like the actual finish the coverage everything the actual formula like it's blendable like i said like i don't even barely need any concealer even under my eyes it just looks so smooth okay so i have this super tempting shade palette vt bts cute packaging and on the inside you have a yellow and then like a kind of face skin tone or like a light bronzer i guess and a contour shade i'm just gonna take the yellow color and apply this straight under my eyes i'm not gonna use any concealer today because honestly like i don't really need it and I'm hoping that this will just help to color correct a little bit. It's definitely not super brightening. Like this is more of just like a face color for me, I think. I might actually just use it all over my face. It's very, very mattifying. Didn't BTS do a song with Steve Aoki? I'm sure they did because it's like one of my favorites. I'm like just starting to come to now. Like I'm like, wait a second. Under my eyes, I'm going to go in with some additional product being my well rested if I can actually find it. Just underneath my eyes, just because I really want a little bit of something brightening under there since I didn't use any concealer or anything, it's just looking a little bit dull. So this is what well rested looks like. You can see the difference straight away. I like to just kind of buff it in. I still feel like my face is a little bit orange-ish, but it's not so bad. Like I think it's, you know, we can get away with that. I should have used shade four. Once we put on bronzer and stuff, it should be okay. I'm now gonna take this middle color right here, just kind of like a bronzer. Um, it's a very light color, like it's more of just like a face powder, but on my skin tone, I'm hoping it'll just like me a little bit of a shade. And I'm gonna go straight into contouring. So I'm gonna use my dome to contour brush with the contour shade right here. It's pretty dark, but I mean, it's doing the job. It's very easy to blend. Ooh, I think I might have gone a little bit too heavy on the contour today, but oh well. Oh my god, they had concealer! Here, I'll have to try that in a different video. But before we choose like the liquid eyeshadow, there's a couple of different palettes we have here, so I should kind of figure out what kind of color theme I want to go for. Ooh, pretty neutrals. I don't even know, like, they're very similar. One of them's just a lot more red-toned than the other one, which is more neutral. And I go in with this one here, which is angry. No, he's kind of happy. It's a, like, little space love eyes with a little space pion pion gun, ray gun. Basically, his face is my mood at all times. Like, yep, yeah, that's how it looks. So this is in the shade 3. I can't actually read it, but it looks like this. Just, like, a little doe foot applicator in a light brown shade like all of the ones i got sent are quite like light colors so i'm just gonna pop this straight on my eyelid i'm gonna be putting eyeshadow straight on top of it but we'll see how it looks just like alone as well just for a nice simple look i love the like undertone of this it's kind of like an orangey neutral and then before it dries i'm just taking a round eye brush and just tapping that out i'm not really being too careful because I am going to use eyeshadow as well but pretty color very easy to blend and it's kind of tacky which is good because I'm putting eyeshadow on top I wonder if it dries down though I'm just gonna BRB what is this on my face BRB I'm gonna do my eyebrows okay I'm back so the eyeshadow definitely sets into like a really matte finish like <laughs> do you love that blending like wow it's so good so I have the palettes in O2 and O1 this is O1 this is O2 so I'm probably just gonna like take a little mixture of both I'm going to start with a transition shade from the O1 palette this color right here and I'm just going to blend around the edges of this Cream eyeshadow just to make it look nicer because obviously I just smashed it on. I didn't really care and now I do care. The lighting is definitely getting a little bit shocking at this time of year so I'm gonna have to start busting out my um, winter light setup soon. Artificial lighting. I'm just gonna go for a very simple eye look today. Nothing too crazy because I'm going to the gym later. And usually I can't be bothered washing my face off. This foundation is definitely settling into my expression lines a bit. So that's something to keep in mind. I think obviously I apply quite a lot. So who knows if you just do one layer might be a bit better. Or if you just don't have any wrinkles. Lucky you. <laughs> okay so that's looking pretty nice. There's very minimal fallout. Next up I'm just going to take the colour straight above. Which is this kind of like rosy-ish neutral. And I'm just going to kind of go in the same kind of area, just not as high towards my brow bone. Like, just to deepen the crease. That is such a nice colour. I'm going to do a little bit just like right underneath this part of my eye. The very outer underneath. 
Then I'm going to take a tulip crease brush, which is a little bit smaller with the darkest color. I feel like I'm just going to end up using this single palette today. So yeah, just the palette 01. This is a very pretty like burgundy kind of plum color. Just straight to that out of there. Well, there goes natural. I was like, I'm just going to do a really natural light makeup look today. But now I've got plum on my eyes. It's very pretty though. And then I'm going to take maybe the darker pinkish shade, which is this one, just on an eyeshadow brush. This is a kind of like, I don't know, like soft shimmer. It looks more shimmery in the pan, but when you use the brush, it's just like a shimmer. Even if you use your finger, it's like the same result. Now I'm just wiping off my brush. I'm going to take the bone shade. It's a really nice looking color for my brow bone. Oh, look how powdery that one is. Okay, it's all right, we saved it. This color is like very powdery. I don't know what's up with that. And then we will take just a little bit of that super shimmery like pink, light pink color on a small brush if I can find one. Here we go. Here's a short shadow brush just right on the inner corner. I feel like that one's a lot more like glittery than the one we put on our eyelid. I'm going to take the same brush with a little bit of this and just put it right on the ball of my eyelid as well. So I like the mattes a lot more than the shimmery ones. I just feel like they don't really adhere very well. Obviously you could try them wet or with an eye primer as well. They still look really pretty though. It's a very soft look. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? I love the colors though, like the actual color scheme, real pretty. Before we do our mascara, I'm just going to use a little bit of the setting spray. So this is the Super Tempting Face Fixer and it just comes in a little spray bottle. Ooh, that looks like a nice fine mist. Smells strong. Like, not of like anything bad, but I don't know what it is. It doesn't taste too bad. It kind of smells like some kind of like lolly that I remember from like being a kid. It's so fine. Like, you can tell it's fine because it's literally sticking up all of my face hairs, but those will settle down in a moment once that soaks in. It's ridiculously fine. Wow. That felt so good. Okay. And it's like made my skin glow. Okay. This is going good. I really like that. So just airing out my face to try and make all my hairs go down. Now we've got mascara. So this is the VTBTS Triple Power Mascara. And let's have a look at the brush. Ooh, it's a very thin brush. It's longer on one side. It kind of has this little like curl to it. Short one side, long one side. So let's just dive straight in, shall we? I feel like this would be real good on the lower lashes. Or if you have like really short eyelashes. Real good for you because It'll be less messy than a big, huge wand. For me personally, like, I kind of like a big wand most, like, not all the time, but sometimes because it's just quicker. Like, I can't be bothered fiddling around with tiny wands on my upper lashes. For the lower lashes, it's perfect, though. This mascara is giving me a very, like, natural look. Very separated and lengthening. I wouldn't really say it's volumizing very much. Now, let's try it on the lower lashes. This is where I reckon it's just going to be, like, magic. This is such a nice lower lash mascara because it doesn't like put too much on either. Sometimes when you put mascara on your bottom lashes, like, you know, it's so easy to get too much product down there. It's almost like shiny. I don't know if I'm imagining it. Like it almost makes my lashes look a little bit glossy. It's quite pretty. Not my favorite on the upper, but for the lower, I really like it. I'm just going to do the other side. and I think I'll wear falsies today. It's real hard to get off your eyelids if you smudge it. It's just like smearing, even though I've waited ages for it to dry. It's like really gripped on there, so that's kind of annoying. I'm just using my blending brush to try and like cover it a little bit. I'm gonna use some EXO Beauty Lashes in, oh my god, I almost spilled my coffee everywhere. In the Romantic, I've been loving them lately. Just really nice, like fluffy ones. Kind of natural, kind of dramatic, like kind of in the middle. I'm just gonna use my EXO Beauty Lash Adhesive and pop these as close as possible to my natural lashes because we're not using any eyeliner today. Once they've like started sticking, I like to take my lash tweezer and just pinch them together. This is by Exo Beauty as well. And you can see that just kind of blends them a lot nicer. I'm just going to go in with a thicker mascara just to add some more volume. Alright, so now we've just got to do our cheeks and our lips. So, there's a couple of cheek palettes here. We have palette 02, which looks like a really nice peachy pink palette. And then we also have palette 01, which is more of a cool tone pink palette. I think I'm going to go with the warmer one today, the peachy one, which is shade 2 or palette 2, because I think it goes with this eye makeup a lot nicer. I'm actually going to go with the super dark ones. It's just something I wouldn't normally go for. Let's just be a little bit brave today. This is a medium face brush by Exo Beauty. And I'm just going to... Oops, my brush is freaking out right now. 
just gonna blend that all over the cheek. It's very easy to blend, it's not too scary, like nice and buildable. Which is perfect because I hate it when blushes are too full on. There's no highlighters here, so I'm just going to use another favorite of mine lately. I used this on a live stream recently. This is the Pixie by Petra Delicate Dew. And I love, love, love this. My favorite brush to use with it is this one right here, the Detail Face Brush, because it really buffs it out because it's quite shiny. If you just use like a shimmer brush, you can kind of get a like glittery effect. Like if you like that, that's good, but I prefer it to look more smooth. It almost looks wet. It's such an intense highlighter, you guys, but like when you buff it in with a brush like this, it just is so amazing. I really like that setting spray as well. Like it made my skin look so nice. Okay, now the last step is our lips. Then I'll go do my hair and show you guys the finished look. Actually, let me just put a little bit of fake awake in my waterline. Ooh, I feel like this one will be a really cool color. So, um, this one here, this is Angry Mischievous Bunny and a little bit of um, Lightning Strike Acorn. I don't know. This is in the shade 03. And there's like a little sharpener on one end. And then on the other end, you have a wind up lip pencil. Very creamy. Nice and precise as well. I feel like it kind of smells nice. I don't know if I'm like imagining it or what. It's very creamy. I like this. We have some lip colors right here. Like a nude kind of color here. This is the VTBTS. It doesn't actually say what they call, but they're like liquid lipsticks. Yeah, this one's like 04. Or else this one 05 looks real nice as well. The other one's like a cool tone pink. I feel like, nah, I feel like the nude will look the best with this lip pencil. Oh, it's like a mousse and it smells so good. I like that. It feels so lightweight and I love the color it kind of made. This itself is like a warmish nude, whereas the line is a little bit more pink and it just made this really nice lip color. I like it a lot. So there we have the full face. Let me go do my hair. I'll be right back and I'll talk about what my favorites and least favorites were. Okay, so here is the finished look. I really, really, really love the lip products, the primer, the blush. The mascara is like pretty good. Like I said, for me personally, I would prefer that on my lower lashes. But if you have like real small lashes, I think it would be good because it's got a lot of like control. The foundation's real nice. It's just creasing a little bit. And yeah, I feel like if I tried again, just doing one layer in the color that actually matches me better, it would be pretty good. Like right now it matches pretty spot on. I really like the eyeshadows, especially the matte ones. The matte ones were definitely like my preference. The shimmers are very subtle but if you like that look then you might like it. So yeah that is my first impression review blah 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 of VT Cosmetics, BTS range and that other range with the funny little weird characters. <laughs> I'm assuming it's like some kind of cartoon or something. I don't know. Yeah this is probably one of my favorites of everything. The face fixer. I'm just gonna do another quick you know, spritz. This is like even finer than my Glam Glow. Like, that's how fine it is. You can barely even feel it when it hits your face because it's just nothing, but it's there. This highlighter is amazing as well, guys. Like, definitely go pick this up if you love a blinding highlight. Like, this is my favorite blinding highlight at the moment because it's not chunky. Good. Make sure you use the right brush with it, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and notify all of that jazz if you want to see more of my videos. I would really appreciate it. I'm uploading two or three videos every single week for you guys. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.